Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return with having. When we're trying to do that, we're often thinking about how do I succeed? How do I learn everything that I need? How do I know what to say when I'm literally blown away by why I'm, why I'm there, who I'm talking to, and how the hell did they get there? Yesterday I had that problem. A man that I had only seen maybe once before came up and started talking to me, and I apologized, but he actually handled me really professionally until he started to insult me. He did the best he could to socially appropriately approach me, remind me of how we met, and that was appropriate. But then he started to talk about a lot of stuff that was no nonsense to me that I didn't really need to be a participant in. And that's how I knew I was being played with. Then he started to drop different types of words, drop different types of hits, and I'm about ready to kill him. But he is that stupid about his life that he doesn't realize that people who've been involved with FBI training, people that have been a part of military families, know how to play. And we know how to play because today I'm not playing, but tomorrow or next week or in a month, I might come back, motherfucker, with the biggest black men you've ever seen since you're black to teach you a motherfucking lesson. Now, does that make sense to anybody in the world of religion? The answer is of course not. Nobody fucking gave you the right to go teach somebody a lesson about their own fucking body. Nobody fucking gave you the right to go into someone's life and say, hey, you're a hottie, I want to do you. Which is what sometimes happens to beautiful women. And maybe it works with them because they're so being used to being played with the stupidest lines of all time by the geeks who want to play with them. But here's the truth. Jesus makes a partner for everyone. And if you're playing with someone and they don't taste like they, they don't taste right, they don't smell right, they don't feel right anymore, or they did at one time, it might mean that you've timed out of that relationship. I do agree some with something one person said to me once. I don't believe we have many partners that are made for us. What I do believe is that the Lord gives us lessons with people that are supposed to teach us something. And how they teach us and what they teach us is important. I can tell you that a bitter person might taste bitter. I can tell you that a dirty person might taste dirty. I can tell you those things, but you may not believe me, and that's okay. It could be totally my inappropriate scientific opinion. But what I do feel is that God gives us warning signs of who is and isn't right for us. But I also feel is that someone who really goes out of their way to take all kinds of risks to say, get the fuck away from him, is telling you something from God. Meaning, get away from him before you ruin your face. Get away from him before you lose your place. Get away from him before you lose your space. Get away from him before he takes your money. Get away from him before he takes all your honey. Get away from him before you're not yourself anymore.